right, folks, how you doing? Uh, this is Dave. We're back for another episode here. So uh, what we're going to end up doing, uh, I went through, uh, reinstalled the uh, new radiator, uh, bled it. I uh, haven't taken the car for a ride yet just because I want to make sure that the trans level is the um, basically 10 quarts plus one and a half. Uh, generally, I believe the 6L80s have, 6L80s and 90s have uh, 10 quarts roughly in them and then for high performance cars uh where you're launching really hard uh and i'm not i'm not counting what's in the converter all right so don't <laughs> uh basically what you have to do uh, and i'll go through the procedure in more detail uh but ultimately i'm gonna get the car up off the ground make sure it's level we're gonna fire it up i'm gonna have my laptop hooked into it i don't i gotta reflash the end gauge it's it's um it's acting a little stupid i just gotta do a, a an update but i'm gonna hook the laptop up to it we're gonna start a log and um Essentially, what I'm going to do is wait between, it's like 86 degrees and 122 Fahrenheit, something like that. Just going to have it in gear. I'm going to open up the plug, let it drain out. Um, once it starts to drip, which it'll do, uh, it's, it's, it's basically when it gets to the point of it just barely dripping out. Uh, so once it gets into there, I'll, I'll put the plug back in, clean everything up, uh, and then I will put in another quart and a half of just standard, and I, I got it here. It's your standard, uh, you know, Dextron ATF. That's what I've been using. And uh, um, that's essentially how I set up my transmission. It's pretty well known. Nothing fancy here. I'm trying to get the car ready. I'm actually going to try to take it to Cecil next weekend uh, if the weather holds out for their strange engineering shootout. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go with the 10.0 index because the thing ran like 10.1. And you really got to be like, you know, below um, 990s essentially to run in a 10.0 index class. Uh, so I think what I'll end up doing is probably just doing like a um, pro dial or super street I think I'm gonna do super street because I'm a big baby and I and I want the sportsman tree uh, Mainly because I got to load the converter and to, to run on a pro tree where it starts You know, it's essentially you stage all three bulbs and then launch even at a seven second I think it's a seven second delay even with that it's it is really hard to foot brake a car uh, and uh, be successful in something like that. So I'm um, just going to do sportsman tree like I was doing. I was cutting pretty decent lights. Everything was like, you know, um, from like, you know, 0 0.1 to 0.3. So it's pretty decent, decent lights. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get started. I'll stop rambling and um, let's get her up in the air and get started. Okay, guys. So here you go. You can see I got her up off the ground. And just take a quick look under there. Real simple. Just jacked her up by the back on the side. And then what I ended up doing, you can see on that side, I just have the um, pallet. I got well, so it's a transmission slash motorcycle jack. Like I have a jack stand under there, but uh, I use just this little level, front to back, make sure the trans is level, and then left to right, you know, passenger to driver side, make sure that it's it's level also. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fire her up. Well, first I'm gonna hook the laptop up, fire it up. And then um, we're going to pull the plug. It's going to drain. Like, I'm going to open it up. It's going to drain. <laughs> so, um, and then what I'll do is watch it until there's like a little, little stream. Because it's in an overfill condition right now. So, it's going to pour out a lot. So, I'll set the camera up underneath there. And then you guys can uh, just kind of watch what I do. All right? Okay, guys. So, here we go. We are up and running. You can see the transmission fluid temperature. 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So, what I'll end up doing cars up on jack stands we're gonna go under we're gonna keep uh, an eye on that once that gets over 86 um, once it gets over 86 I'm gonna pull the plug start draining it it's coming up relatively quick it's about a degree every uh, maybe 30 seconds or so but I'll have a window there where once I get her fired up and I gotta you know take a look at the engine cooling temperature also I don't want to do something stupid later okay so 
I don't know how well you can hear me, but uh, you can see it's kind of just dripping, 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 dripping. At this point, I'm, that's good enough for me. I'm going to put in another quart and a half on this. You can see. So this is the last part, um, it's very straightforward, uh, I just have a little hand pump here and I don't know how well you can see it, hopefully you can see it fairly fairly well. It's super simple, it has this extra attachment here where my pinky's pointing to and then all it really does is goes into the bottle, screws on like a normal bottle uh, cap would and um, what this will let me do is like right now we're essentially at what the factory would set the full level in the trans to. And like I mentioned before, when you're launching, you don't want to expose that uh, pickup. So um, an extra one and a half quarts when the car launches. So the front end comes up, the fluid sloshes back. So you want more in there to keep it, uh, the pump uh, submerged, um, the uh, pickup submerged. So uh, it's really straightforward. I'm going to pull the plug out so you guys can see what it looks like. We'll fill her up. Uh, with another one and a half quarts and then literally it's just putting everything back together guys so let's just uh let's finish the job so we're back underneath the car folks and i wanted to kind of give you a quick shot of what the heck i'm going after here right so all right so i'm going to extend the handle on this gopro and luckily waited so now it's not that hot and we're going up this guy right here that is the plug that we're going to be taking out. This is where you would normally find a dipstick going into. And there's some folks who sell aftermarket dipsticks. You just got to pull that plug out. Uh, you kind of lift the little uh, top piece there, the front piece. And then you uh, pull it the rest of the way out. Uh, so it should come out relatively easily. But um, that's the piece we're looking at here. And uh, I'm going to turn around so you can see me. Yeah. So... Uh, really, all we got to do is pop that out. We put the tube in there, pump the trans fluid, and that's literally it. And then we just pop it right back in and we're done. Now, I had mentioned, <clears throat> this is probably a little weird angle for you, uh, that some places do sell dipstick tubes. And um, I've tried them before and there's just not enough clearance for me to get that in there. So some folks have had good luck. I have not. So... Let's get this in here. <clears throat> it's a mild inconvenience to put everything back together. So let's get it done. And uh, I'll catch you right after we're all finished and cleaned up. All right? Stay tuned. Okay, just real quick before we uh, um, start filling it back up. This is it. This is the plug. So what I usually end up doing looks like this when you first uh, get to it. Jam screwdriver in. Really good size one. And uh, I just use my other hand here. So... Mm. That lifts up and what I usually end up doing is getting a flathead underneath this and with a very moderate it's not you're not pushing hard boop pops right up and then it goes flying and it's got obviously you can see several built-in molded o-rings into it um, that's really it that's your trans fill plug <laughs>
right, that's it. It's hot. Radiator replaced. He's running like a million bucks. Trans refilled. I think we're ready to go racing again, guys. Thanks for watching. If it's your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button. God darn, man. I am sweating. Woo. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.